30 seconds to introduce. Yeah, thanks. Um, there are 298 children on the Dublin South West School Age Team waiting list. There are further 18 children awaiting transition from the early intervention team to the school age team waiting list. The waiting time for the school age team is 41 months and is growing monthly because the team does not have the capacity to safely take on any additional cases. There's been no movement in the waiting lists in the last 10 months. The situation has developed over the last number of years. The limited human resource capacity to address the waiting lists for intervention, coupled with demand and high deprivation in this area, has been widely reported. And to ask the Minister for immediate intervention to resolve this shameful situation. First of all, I want to thank Deputy Collins for raising this very, very important issue. And can I say the HSE and myself, we do acknowledge that waiting time for access to school aged children team for children with disabilities in the Dublin South, Kildare West, Wicklow, CHO7 is un unacceptably long. This is due to the high demand for services and challenges around staff recruitment and retention in the area. Dublin South, Kildare West, uh, Wicklow Community Health Care Organisation has a growing population with an increase of children with a disability. The population has increased by 33,175, that's approximately 5% from the 2011 uh, census. In addition to the increase in population, a high proportion of children presenting with dis to disability teens have a diagnosis or suspected diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder, and a typical ASD diagnosis can take more than 30 hours to complete. The team is currently operating without a dedicated team manager, but the recruitment of this post is now underway via national recruitment process. This is an essential appointment in managing resources and waiting lists within the team. The HSE is currently also engaged in, in a reconfiguration of existing therapy resources to your geographic based teens for children uh, 0 to 18 years old. The intention is to roll out an integrated care model that will allow children, whatever the nature of the disability, to be seen locally to their home and school as quickly as possible. The team manager appointment is a key enabler of this reconfiguration. Funding for an additional 100 therapy posts was secured for disability children's services as part of budget uh, 2019, and I was glad to be involved in that. Some of these posts will be allocated to CH07. These additional posts, along with the reconfiguration of services and other innovative approaches, will have a significant positive impact on waiting times for assessment and therapy service delivery over the course of the next year. Deputy thank Collins, you for asking, Corla. Um, thank you. Uh, thanks, uh, uh, Minister. But I, I think what the point I'm making is that this has developed over the last two to three years, and seemingly the team in the CH07 have raised this issue and flagged it many, many times about the pressure they're under and the fact that the waiting lists were stagnant for the last uh, 41 months. They're saying, and this replies to the question I put down, there's been no movement to the waiting list in the last 10 months due to the volume of children that are transitioned from early intervention service, the capacity caseloads of team uh, members, delays in the filling of vacancies, maternity leave positions not being backfilled. They do make the point about, and um, the reply did say the team is operating with a dedicated team manager, which is crucial. But just looking at the, the lack of services, um, the staff grade ed psychologist one is filled, but this psychologist will be moving on now in a promotion. Staff uh, grade psychologist 0 0.6, 0 0.6 filled engaged in psychological initiative, uh, initiative, therefore only available for 0.6 at present. The st staffing levels are absolutely dire and um, it needs to be addressed. And these Minister. young children who are waiting to come onto this, uh, these services need it today, they don't need it next month or next year, Minister. Minister. Okay, thank you. And of course, absolutely, I totally accept the, it's very, very important that we get in as early as possible. I take that point off you from a personal level. And I do accept the point that it is unacceptably long. But can I also say there are situations as well that the uh, difficulty in filling some of the positions. Now, that's the bad news. The good news is that I've noticed in recent months that a lot of OT and speech and language therapists who immigrated during the austerity years are returning to Ireland again, and some of them are filling these posts. So, in addition to the recruitment of a further 40 posts in the OT area is scheduled, that is uh, in, in, in near completion at the moment. 
and currently the OT Service Improvement Working Group is reviewing options in pertaining to the allocation of posts around across CHO areas. And this is being done in conjunction with the findings of the OT Service Improvement for, for Report for Primary Care. But in relation to the additional 100 therapy posts, which was secured in the Budget 2019, these additional posts will make an impact on the situation. But there is a reality and there is a situation where we have to focus on uh, getting the people in place so we can get on and do this. But there has been a huge increase in the NCHO area uh, uh, 7 there in, in relation to the number of families and children uh, uh, with ASD. And that's something that we're trying to respond Final to question as, best, from as quickly as possible. Collins. No, I, I take on board your, uh, the point you're making, Minister, that there is staff problems in trying to recruit staff into these positions. But I, I, initially I took this issue up because a young lad um, who's in foster care with severe autism went through the Cheeverstown process, went through the Abacus Special School, um, at, and at the point he was discharged to the school age team in Chamber House and Tallow and was placed on the waiting list for services, and that was three years ago. Now, this is... A, a, Put on the waiting list at five years of age, eight years of age now, still waiting for basic services, can't even get onto the into Chamber House. This can't, and he's just one, he's just one of the 298 children um, on the Dublin South West waiting list. There has to be a radical thinking in relations, and I understand there is problems recruiting, there is problems in the area, but this has been flagged a long, long time ago, and I'm not saying that's your direct responsibility, Minister. You have a legacy that you're taking, you're, you're carrying it over, but there has to be some radical approach. I'm sure it's not just happening in CHO7, I'm sure it's happening around other parts of the country as well, so I'm not just, you know, from my point of view, but there has to be a radical thinking about how we actually... 298 Am children, I... it's... No. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess... Absolutely. I, I'm not uh, disputing the issues. We have problems in, in your area and we also have problems in Kildare and I can say we have problems in Kerry and Wexford and Cork as well. That is the reality. So what we've got to do is uh, try and put the resources in there uh, uh, and uh, try and fix the situation. Now I did manage to get an extra 150 million for disability services in the, in the 2019 budget. But at the moment, can I give you a commitment that at the moment I'm, we're sitting down, we're finalising the HSE service plan for 2019 and I have put early intervention service, speech and language service in my top five. Of course, I have issues like emergency, residential places, uh, personal assistance hours, but I have put that assessment of needs, that issue of speech and language therapy, those issues at, the, at number one in the discussions. So they'll be completed in the next, I'd say, a week or 10 days. So hopefully we'll have something there. But the answer is we have an issue, we have to resolve it, and we need to make sure that the investment and the staff is going in there to, to deal with those situations because the earlier you intervene, uh, into a child with a, any kind of a disability. Oh it, the lo on the long term, it's good for the family, it's good for the child, but it's also good in the long term for the, for the, for the exchequer and the relation of public right. funding. Deputy Pat Buckley, 30